Are you looking for more ways to drive traffic back to your website? And also, would you like to know when people have taken content from your website, perhaps to email on to other people? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this short video. My name is Krishna Day and you'll find me online at bizgrowthnews.com and also over on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash marketing mentor. The tool I want to talk to you about is called Tint and I had noticed when I'd, let's say, taken some copy from somebody's website to make an attribution in a blog post that I was also getting information about the, the URL of that site. So let's go and have a look at Tint and you can see the site here at tynt.com and Tint Insight allows you to put some code onto your website or onto your blog or social network and then the next time that somebody comes over to your site if you've customized it then it will actually give them also a link let's say for example to the full URL of that article. Many people do still go to the web and share content by email. In fact Tint are suggesting that 70% of people actually will share content by email and I know I do that. I've got things in my Firefox browser that allow me to share web pages to people when I think things are interesting to them, be them clients or in fact uh, colleagues in my team. So let's have a quick look at the Tint Insight tool and I actually had been working through this myself so one of the things that you can do is you can decide in terms of the attribution. So for example um, do you want it to come out with your URL or a page title or a page title and the URL. This is giving you an example here where it's uh, showing you that you can customize it to say read more. I've got that's how I've got mine or it could say other information. You can also put in your copyright and where do you want that information to come out. Do you want that link to be above the post um, that somebody might take from the website or below it and you can customize the Creative Commons license that you want to have in there. You can also make some other changes that, and uh, you can actually make sure that there's tracking of, of your uh, home page. The one thing I wasn't able to get to work and it might be because of the version of WordPress I'm using at the minute. I need to up update my blog at the moment and that might be the reason it isn't working. But I thought this was very cool, a link sponsorship. So for example, I put in instead of a uh, link sponsorship for a product, I said subscribe to get more articles like this and then had put a link to how people could get very quickly to subscribe my to my blog and with a customized link there that I can track and I can see how many people are doing um, getting to my blog that way. And then it creates your script. Um, you can also make sure that in terms of in that link tracking, um, that you are, are able to identify the number of people who've been actually looking at your script as well on your website. And so here and here we'll see the script that I could add onto my site. And that's the specific details there. Now within Tint Insight you can install this code onto your regular website. But what I wanted to just talk you through here are a few other places that they allow you to take it. So if you want to add it to your blogger blog um, or if you want to add it in fact to your Ning network which I thought was a great idea. If you want to add it to WordPress and in fact for wordpress.org which is what I use there are two different platforms um, that are plugins that have been created Easy Tint plugin and Tint Insight plugin for WordPress and that's what I've used on my site. It also gives you information about various other sites, including if you're blogging using TypePad. So I definitely think this is a platform for you to have a look and explore. You can even add Tint to your Tumblr blog. So why don't you let me know what you think of Tint and if it's a tool that you're using already or how you found it. You can leave your feedback over at facebook.com for slash marketing mentor or of course ask your social media marketing questions there too. This is Krista Day from bizgrowthnews.com.